trouble on his first serve game of the second set. Becker came back. <coughs> He's opened the door just a little bit again here. Love 15. Boy, that's where he's been smart. Yep, I saw that ball. I saw that ball. Yeah. Two inches out is in, right? Great call. McEnroe's played those little dinks successfully all day, but boy, I don't know how much more uh, abuse Richard Ings takes before he gives him a warning. Yeah, just what I was thinking, Fred, that he's been pretty even-handed so far. An obscenity from McEnroe, clearly heard by us, uh, was not heard by Skippy Ings, otherwise, if he heard it, he should definitely have given McEnroe a warning. Code was my conduct. Warning is to McEnroe. There it is. You're not playing to the pace of the server. He's ready. Sorry? You're not, you're not in position to receive. Sorry. Absolutely ready to play. He goes to a 10-second motion after he does that. Watch my ass get down on my knees. The whole time I was ready to play. I've got 10 more seconds after he's looked up to before I even have to be ready to hit the ball. My interpretation of that incident was... I'd like the supervisor brought out because I don't want to lose a point after you cheat me on another thing, too. So let's get to the supervisor ready before I get cheated on another issue. This whole thing's a question of fact. my interpretation of whether you were ready or not. I was absolutely standing there waiting for him to go into his motion. Uh, I have ten more seconds. I'd like the supervisor brought out to, so that I do not get a point penalty on this. Okay, fine. Supervisor is coming out. Skippy Ings slapped a warning on Macker not for abuse of himself, but for not playing to the pace of Boris Becker's serve. And remember, this is a separate issue from a conduct warning. The two are treated separately. Let's listen. That's correct. Yeah, I was absolutely ready to play. He was not ready to serve. He goes through a 10 second motion after he looks up. He looks up, grows, he does a 10 second thing every time. So why, why did I, what, what's true? No, he goes to a, judgment. yeah, but he, when he goes to a 10 second thing, I'm standing there waiting, I go, all I have to do is go like that. In I, 10 seconds. I take a long time. And I feel like we played an hour and a half, a set, and I'm the one complaining about playing too slowly, and now he gives me a warning for stalling. That's why. Now, what the hell? Because I said it, that's directly related to what I said. There's no way I deserve a point penalty, whatever the hell it is. Okay. So, but I mean, the thing no, I want him to reverse the call. No, I don't want it. It's not fair. I was absolutely ready to play. Well, it's a judgment call by the other. Yeah, but this, you have to overrule that error in judgment. No, I can't, because it's his judgment. I mean, I cannot interpret it, what he's seen and what he, what he interprets as the, the, the... Oh, you can. can. What do you do then? Tell me what you can do in this situation. It's a rule of ten. I was staying, was staying, waiting for him to play. I've been complaining that he's taking too long. Now, all of a sudden, I'm the guy that gets a penalty. I wonder how that works. Is that your judgment on that? Hey, that's a brilliant judgment. How did you come up with that? How did you come up with such a brilliant decision? I was waiting for him to go into the motion. No, but you're gonna, it's going to cost me later when you take a point from me. Well, what do you Yeah, because I have a free one that I should have had later, and now I'm not going to have it because he made a ter terrible call. And you can't overrule it. And you're not going to change it. And you, don't, and you still think after what's happened that that's right. You still think I wasn't ready to play. You still don't think I was ready to play. So he was I've been complaining about ball. No, no, he was but waiting to go to the motion. Becker's taking six serves during this no, whole thing. No, I think that we should make it clear that you still think in 10 seconds I couldn't have gotten ready to play. In 10 seconds, you don't think this I could have gotten ready to play. This is taking three minutes. This is a joke. Three and a half minutes. This is just ridiculous. I've been complaining about him playing too fast. The decision's been made. It is time for Ings to tell him to go play. Slowly. Or slap him with the point penalty. He's not ready to serve when he gets to the line. Have a look. This is what it's all about. He's not ready to play, though. He's not His ready point, to play when he goes to the line. It was line. Richard Ings' this interpretation that McEnroe was not ready to receive Boris Becker's serve. I this is about three minutes back, ago. Before I go out and continue to play. Becker is looking because back he, behind him as if to say, to what are you waiting for? In your opinion? Yeah, standing there looking at me, and I'm standing there looking at him. Then what makes you think I wasn't ready to play? 
The decision's been made. McEnroe should go and play. Well, more than that, Ings should make him go play or take a point. It was three years ago that Richard Ings warned McEnroe, then gave a point penalty, and then a game penalty at the U.S. Open against Slobodan Zivojinovic. And in fact, McEnroe ended up winning that match, but it was a remarkable affair. McEnroe was extremely vulgar, and in fact, he was cursing, and, and it was Ings was not able to hear the cursing that went on. Otherwise, he would have defaulted McEnroe for the match. It was a it was a time where Ings was only 21 years old, and when he walked into the umpire's session, the there next we go. day, here's some more. When he walked into the umpire's uh, meeting, the next day he got a standing ovation because at 21 years old, Richard Ings stood up to this man. time he just went through on that serve. I was ready the whole time. To, so he just went through 10 seconds. Now why didn't you think I was ready? Oh, another one. Good. Oh, that's perfect. Two wrongs don't make it right. You ever heard that? Oh, dear. Let's get on with it. Tronkins. He just that's McEnroe. That. His second code violation, that cost McEnroe a point. That is right. Becker moves over to the other box. And Macro has not yet moved over. Well, he's going to have to. And let me tell you, the next one will be a game. And then Macro will be in real trouble in this match. He's been through this before, Fern. Usually that's where he leaves it. Delay of game. Point 10, 30, 15. Come on. It is now 30, 15. Becker is hesitating about moving to serve to end the 30, 15 court. McEnroe refuses to move to receive serve. Now Ings is really in the hot seat. What does he do about this deal? Well, and now Becker's going to do something, and I'm not sure Becker should step in. Becker should get over there and get ready at 30-15, which is what he's going to do. Which is what he does. And McEnroe has Chris. still not moved. McEnroe is flirting with it now. I mean, McEnroe, here comes the supervisor again. Well, I said it a long time ago. Ings should have just said to McEnroe, play or... Or you lose a point. He waited too long. Second one to take him back. Right. Right. The fans are tired of this too. Becker just took another practice serve into the ad box. Let's play. McEnroe's gonna play this out for everything it's worth. He's not gonna get the fault. He's not gonna default himself. He's just trying to make a point. Yeah, but it's cost him. Cost him at least one point. Remember, he had love 15 in this game. He had Becker on the ropes the first time Becker served in this set also. 